Hi, this is Justin Kahn from the Decatur Herald and Review here at Morolla Forsyth High School, where tonight the Trojans defeated Monticello 30-12 to in what was a really big Okaw Valley Conference matchup for both teams. Uh, both teams came into the game 3-2, and two, and, and you don't want to drop to 3-3, three and three, even though I think both teams are safe and that they're going to make the playoffs. But, you know, three losses you're probably going to start um, on the road. And, and obviously Morolla improves to 4-2, and two, and they still have – uh, some tough games left, in particular next week against St. Joseph Ogden. But at the same time, uh, had to feel a lot better, uh, you know, four and two going into that game than three and three. Uh, their defense really stepped up in this game, and I, I think that was really the key to the win. They hadn't played particularly well in, in, in the games against good teams this year. You know, St. Teresa scored quite a bit against them. Um, you know, last week in, in the overtime loss to Tolono Unity, uh, they gave up quite a few points. And Monticello had a couple of big plays in this game. In fact, early in the game, on, on, on I think the first third down of the game, they had a long pass from uh, Brandon Wildman to Noah Freeman uh, over the middle of the field. Uh, had another long play um, on that same drive, actually, to, on a fourth down to extend the drive. But Monticello did not do a good job in a red zone. Uh, Merle was able to stop that first drive and, and then, um, you know, Merle wasn't great on offense, had some clunky drives, but when you have Jack Hockaday at quarterback, he's going to make some plays. Uh, he made a, a real nice uh, play on a rollout pass for Merle's first touchdown uh, to David Whitaker, where Whitaker got behind the Monticello defense uh, for uh, probably about a 29-yard score. And, and then uh, Hockaday is, is going to have a, a run or two every game where um, he just – just makes uh, you know a great play, and, and he had a 60-yard touchdown uh, run that uh, gave Moreau an early lead as well. It, it, another key play in this game uh, was a Chad Howell 61-yard run that set up a seven-yard touchdown run from Jack Hockaday. Uh, you know, a, a lot of rushing yards tonight from Moreau. Uh, still, they still like to pass the ball, but definitely not the the air attack we've seen in, in some years. They, they just feel a little more comfortable. They don't, they don't quite have that speed uh, in their skill guys that they've had in the past years, and, and it, it really actually uh, played to their advantage tonight in, in weather like you can see here where it's super windy. We had a, a, a spot in the game where there were some sheets of rain falling down. It was during that time when Jared Whistler from Roa had a 42-yard interception return on Wildman for a touchdown, uh, a guy that uh, not a lot of people probably know his name, and, and uh, he the, the crowd is chanting his name in the in the end zone afterwards, which was a pretty sweet moment for uh, a guy that uh, you know isn't Jack Hockaday or, or, or some of the more known names uh, for the Trojans. You know, it was a hard hitting game on both sides. Uh, Chad Howell took a couple of vicious blows in this one. Uh, one of them was from Ryan Bundy that, that looked like it uh, took the wind out of Howell. Uh, later on, he took a, a real nasty one on the sideline where he actually stayed up but ended up going out of the game for a couple of plays. But, you know, Howell's been a guy the last couple of years that has taken some hard hits but, but always, you know, always gets back in the game and, and uh, you know, a big tough guy. Again, the final here from Moroa, Trojans 30, Monticello 12. Make sure you check back to hrpreps.com for all the coverage. You know, I, I don't think we executed very well as far as that's concerned. And they, you know, they do a good job. Uh, their kids ran very well side to side. Uh, they gave up very few big plays tonight, and, uh, and so I give them credit. Well, Coach always says, don't flinch. When things don't go our way, we got to just keep coming back. With uh, the defense like we played tonight, uh, I thought we played great defense. Uh, things didn't go our way on offense sometimes. We drove and then would get stopped in the red zone. So, But our defense played great. I just saw the ball. I caught it. and I saw the end zone, and I just wanted to score. We had to improve our defense. Uh, Coach Kidd's been on him uh, a lot uh, about just, you know, no mental errors. You know, against St. Teresa, it was a lot mental. I, you know, it wasn't so much physical. Uh, you know, last week we played our butt off, but we were outmanned at a lot of spots. I mean, giving up 50 pounds across the board probably at almost every spot. Uh, it's something we hope we don't have to deal with in the playoffs or at least any anytime soon. But, you know, we still got to get that fifth win and then hopefully a sixth win to, uh, you know, gu guarantee our spot. But I feel a lot better than I would if I was three and three right now. Even though with the brutal schedule we played, you know, we, we've just been preaching saying, you know, get in there and then, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But uh, three and three is a tough spot to look. I'm sure uh, Coach Walter feels a little better about the stages, you know, that they've hit the whole tough, right, yeah. uh, you know, circuit. We got the number one team in the state coming here next week. So.